Sometimes I think What will people say of me When I'm only just a memory When I'm home where my soul belongs Was I loved But no one else would show up Was I Jesus to the least of us Was my worship more than just a song Joshua had died. Without a strong leader, the Israelites disobeyed God and worshiped false gods. They ignored and forgot about the one true God. God was angry. He let an enemy king take over the Israelites and they served that king for eight years. Then the Israelites remembered how good they had it when they loved God and obeyed God. They cried out to him, save us. God wanted the people to love and obey him. So God raised up Othniel to rule over them as the first judge. Othniel led the Israelites into battle against the king of Aram, and God helped the Israelites win. The land was peaceful for 40 years. Then Othniel died. Again, Israel ignored God and forgot him. God gave the king of Moab power to attack the Israelites and defeat them. The Israelites served the king of Moab for 18 years. The Israelites were sad. 
They remembered how good they had it when they loved and obeyed God. They cried out to him, save us. So God raised up Ehud to save them. The Israelites sent Ehud to the king of Moab, who was a very large man. Ehud had a double-edged sword under his clothes. Ehud said, I have a secret message for you. The king dismissed all his attendants, so he was alone with Ehud. And the king stood up. Ehud pulled out his sword. He pushed it into the king's belly. The sword was swallowed up by the king's fat. Ehud couldn't even pull it out. Ehud escaped down the porch, locking the doors of the room behind him. Ehud was gone when the king's servants came in. The door was locked and they thought he was using the bathroom. They waited, but the king never opened the door. The servants got worried, so they unlocked the door and found their king dead on the floor. When Ehud escaped, he blew a ram's horn and he became the Israelites' leader. God will help us defeat our enemies, the Moabites, Ehud told them. So the Israelites battled the Moabites and took control over them. There was peace in the land for 40 years. When Ehud died, the Israelites ignored and forgot God again. They turned away from him. When they remembered how good they had it when they loved and obeyed God, they cried out to him, save us. God sent a third judge, Shamgar, to save them. The judges saved the people from the consequences of their sin, but not the cause of it. God's plan was to one day send a true deliverer, Jesus, his own son, to be the king of his people. Jesus saves people from sin forever. Hey guys, welcome back to Kids Point. Uh, before we get into this week, I wanted to ask you though, do you guys remember what we talked about last week? Parents, do you remember? It's hard sometimes. You think you're, you listen to the story and you think you remember where you're at and then you got to think through, what did we talk about? Remember, Joshua and the Israelites are finally in the promised land. That's where we went last week. They're there, they split up the land and they are in the land of Canaan. So there's Canaanites everywhere and they defeated the five kings. That's about as far as we got really. Now, in the Bible, we've left the book of Joshua, and now we're in the book of Judges. And we're going to learn about the Judges of Israel. And we're going to start off, and we're going to learn about, I think we learned about three this week. Um, so we start in, and God has Judges be the leaders of Israel. So now that they're there, and we said Joshua is dead. Joshua died. He's, does anybody know how old he was? I don't know if it said in the video or not. Joshua was 110 years old and Joshua passed away and now the Israelites are in the land of Canaan and there's Canaanites and they're in the promised land and what do they do? We said at the end of the video about what we're about to get into in the history of the Israelites, what they really started doing, which is a lot like we, it's a good example of, or a bad example of what we do as um, people even now. The Israelites forgot about God. God had saved them. He's done so many great things for them. And what do they do? They forget about God. They forget about God's rules. They forget about doing the things that God wants them to do instead of just the things that they want to do. And how do you think it, that works out for them? Really good and everything goes great? Uh-uh doesn't work out very well for them at all. In fact, um, the people in Canaan, they end up taking over the Israelites and they have to be their slaves start for a little while until um, in the video they talked about Othniel. He's the first judge and he's the first judge that God gave them is Othniel who is actually, do you guys remember when they first went and spied out the land of Canaan? Remember they sent 12 spies and only two of them 
wanted to trust God and wanted to go follow God's promise into the promised land? There was only two that thought that. Do you remember their names? It was Joshua and, does anybody know? Caleb. Othniel is Caleb's little brother, younger brother. And Othniel becomes the first judge of the Israelites. And he's a great judge and a great leader picked by God. And the Israelites, under Othniel's leadership, they follow God and do what's right. And God takes care of them and things work out pretty well for them for a while. Until Othniel passes away. And then when Othniel dies, what do the Israelites do? They forget all about God and they forget about God's rules, and they forget about all the great things that God's done for them in their life. And what do they do? Just start doing things their own way. And God punishes them. He has another uh, country come in, or another people that are in that land come in and take them over. And actually, it talks about in the through the book of uh, Judges, it talks about that God told the Israelites to get all of these other countries out of the land. Get them out. Destroy their altars. Don't follow, because if you don't, you're going to end up following their gods and you're and they're going to be a tyrant to you. And they didn't do it. And when you read in the book of Judges in chapter 2, it points out they didn't get rid of all of them. And then it goes to the next guy. And remember when they spread out all the, we show the, the picture, it spread out all the different uh, tribes of Israel and they went in different places. Each one of them didn't completely get the people out. So when they stopped following God, God had those people come take over. And then they had a leader that came and take, took them over. And then they had to be their servants. And then things, because the Israelites didn't do what God wanted them to do. So he ends up bringing them back and God saves them again. And they cry to God and say, man, we need to follow God. We're sorry. Please come save us. So God sends them a new guy. And the next guy he sends them is Ehud. And he talked about Ehud, the second judge. And Ehud came in and there was a, the king that was uh, ruling over them. He was a bad king and Ehud snuck in. And they covered that in the video that he sneaks in and he goes and he tells that king, hey, I have something very special for you. I want to show you. And the king tells all of his guards, go away. Leave us alone. We want Leave me alone. I want to see what this special thing is. And Ehud waits till all the guards are gone and he kills the king. And then he, and he it says he stabs him with his sword. And then he ran out and he went and locked the door and ran out the back door and got away. And actually, his guards stood around for a long time, and they thought, man, if he's in there for so long, they thought he was going to the bathroom is why he was gone for so long. And by the time they got in, Ehud was long gone and safe, and he went back, and Ehud became the new leader uh, and ruler of all the people. And until Ehud, well, as long as Ehud was alive, the Israelites were doing great and following God. When Ehud passed away, they quit following God. And how do you think it worked out? Not very good. They forgot about God. Everything works out bad for them. Then when they're in a really bad spot, they said, oh God, man, it was so great when we followed you. God, come, please come save us. Oh, please save us, save us. And God goes, okay. Then he comes back in and he gives them a new judge. Uh, actually, the, new, the third judge that we learn about in this, uh, in this section is Shamgar. And um, uh, or Shamgar does something pretty cool at the end of chapter 3, too, if you want to uh, look in your Bible uh, and ask your mom and dad, what did Shamgar do? Um, Shamgar is a pretty strong leader, too. And he comes in, and he's going to be there their leader and that's about where we're at and when you read you start reading this part of the book of judges you think the israelites are pretty silly they forget about god and things go bad and then they realize that they should have followed god and then they ask god for god's help 
and then everything's fine while everything's fine and then they forget about God while things are going good and then they wait until things are going bad before they remember about God and ask for God's help and put God first in their life again. And the Israelites can look pretty silly when we watch them like that and we learn that that's what they're doing. But what we need to do is make sure that that's not true of us as well. Because grown-ups do that, kids do that, people do that. That We forget about God sometimes if we're not keeping God first and then it doesn't work out for us very well. And probably the biggest lesson in this in uh, this week's lesson is to remember God and to not forget him and don't be like the Israelites were in these books and be like they are when they have the good leader and follow God and remember God. So we got a lot more ups and downs to go in uh, and learn about with the Israelites, but for right now, they're in the promised land they're having a lot of battles, and if you go th through and have your mom and dad read, um, we're in chapters 1, 2, and 3 of Judges, and there is a lot of really cool stuff that we didn't talk about with Mr. Craig and we didn't watch in the video, but there's a lot of pretty crazy stuff going on and a lot of wars and battles and a lot going on with the Israelites now that they're in the promised land. It's not just all easy and perfect for them, but God's still watching out for them. So with that, we'll leave you. And I miss you guys so much. And we can't wait to see you again soon. All right, bye.